Ball contact is where we begin. You must become one with the ball. The trainer makes it look easy, but you may not have much feel for the ball at first. Good ball contact, like anything else, requires plenty of practice and perseverance. Take a look. On the right, the same lad, 10 months later, showing much better ball control. As time goes on and you acquire a better feel for the ball, you will not only improve your coordination skills, but you'll also enjoy the exercises. Look at how subtle this ball contact must be. Perhaps you'll start dreaming of becoming a star someday. Concentrated practice with your eye on the ball. Practice, 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 and then practice some more. That's the name of the game. If you're not good at something and you want to become better, whether it be ping pong, piano or football, you first must make the techniques yours by hours of practicing. There is in the football world a lack of multifaceted technical schooling, which results in there being few coaches who can let young players spend hours practicing these techniques. Because you don't see this happening at clubs, you generally won't find them practicing individually or with friends. That is why most players, even though they have been club members since they were six or seven years old, are still technically inadequate or limited 20 years later. To demonstrate these techniques perfectly to young players and get them to practice for hours is more important than anything else. It goes without saying, therefore, that the hours of practice spent on these techniques form a basis and an important function upon which the entire program is based. Otherwise, it is impossible to become a technically creative football player.